shooting in one direction. Uh, stand by, I'm going to get out the Equinox and see how it reads on that one, then we'll dig it up. Okay, same signal, this time on the Equinox. I'm set up in Park 2 with uh, sensitivity at 23. Kind of the same deal, it's just hitting in one direction. All right, stand by, we'll dig it up and I'll show you what it is. We've got it out of the hole now. Sounding really good, reading like a quarter. Let's see what it is. There we go. It is a quarter. Gonna be a barber. Nineteen oh eight. Can't tell if that's a D or an O. Looks like an O, 1908 O. All right, so that one was kind of only hitting in one direction on both detectors, but both of them were giving a diggable signal. Cool. Okay, I've got another target here with a CTX that's throwing up some good coin type numbers. I'll let you have a listen. Seventeen forty-four, twelve forty-five, ten forty-five. All right, let's see what it sounds like on the uh, Equinox. A quick noise cancel. There it is. It's, it's hitting it, but it don't sound nearly as solid as it does on the uh, on the CTX. All right, let's dig it up and. Turn this one off. One more time with a CTX. That's a digger all day long on the on the 3030. Let's see what we got. Reading like a dime.
too. I was just about to give up on that one. I was actually kicking the dirt back in the hole and, and decided to scan it one more time. And I finally got a signal. I'm guessing it just had a nail or something close to it that was masking it once I got it out of the hole. But it's right here. Looks like it's a dime. Barber. $18.99. No mint mark. Well, you heard it. Uh, the CTX was hitting that one pretty good, and for whatever reason, the uh, Equinox just didn't give a good signal on it. Either way, happy to have it.